Hello and welcome to Hormone Replacement Therapy Month 3 or HRT Update Number 3. So, I just wanted to start off by thanking everyone who has watched or has shown or shared my monthly updates with somebody who is going through this or is about to go through this or someone who just wants information on somebody close to them. Uh, I hope that these are helping in those situations and I just wanted to say that these are also to release another media of male to female information because like I said before when I started hormone therapy 80% was female to male so this is just another helping hand for male to female. So with that said, let's get into number three. So this month I'm going to talk about three things I'm going to capitalize on. Some are on the lower scale of major and some are more, okay, these are good. So number one is sensitive skin. Now I know I talked about how sensitive my hips were and just my skin in general last month. The sensitive skin on the hips has stopped. I don't notice that anymore. But what I do notice is bruises stay around a lot longer than ever before. Now, growing up, I healed really fast from illnesses, from bruises, cuts, anything like that. I healed very fast. Now, bruises are staying around, but I don't even know where it came from. Like, I looked at my leg the other day, there's a bruise on there. I don't know where it came from, but it's there and it still hurts when I touch it at all. Um, so, keep that in mind that bruises and probably cuts and stuff like that will stay around a lot longer on hormones. Luckily, I have not gotten any cuts, but I have gotten a lot of bruises. Um, number two is this one is one that I was heard could happen I have not experienced it till this month it was what my girlfriend thinks was my first period on hormones now periods on hormones can happen in any way that a normal cisgender person can experience a hormone it can be monthly, it can be painful, it can be emotional. The only change is it cannot have the physical part of the hormones. So don't have to worry about that. But they can be extremely painful. Now, luckily for me, it was not there's no pain. No pain at all. It was out of nowhere. And it only happened once this month and it was extremely emotional I could not stop it it was just a period of time where I could not do anything I've not felt anything like that before in my life to that extreme and it only happened that one time this whole month now the downside is it happened when I started to visit my family again, which this is the first time I visited my family in one and a half to two years. So not the best timing to experience a new update of hormones, but experiencing an update that is good, or at least something that you know will happen just lets you know that they are working and just to be patient if you're not experiencing things at the rate you want to but each thing you experience lets you know that they're working and with that said my emotions are now more outward showing so people can now more so tell what I'm feeling 
Number three is, again, the breast update. Now, the lactating I mentioned has slowed down. I can't remember the last time I felt the wetness on a shirt or anything from the hormones. Um, but I can remember it did happen at some point this month. Now, the new things I've noticed is when I look down, when I'm about to shower or whatever, I can actually see them now. They are physically there with sight, not just the tenderness of the area, they are physically there. Now, the downside is the nipple area can get super, super sensitive and very sore. Any little touch, just, it is such pain. And when you're at like work or whatever and you can't just take a break, it's like, when will this go away? Now, the sensitive sensitiveness can last anywhere from hours seconds. Now, with that said, even though it's sensitive and sore, it is acknowledgement that they are growing and developing, which is just great to hear, or great to know that that's happening. Um, but then again, with the sore and sensitive, you're like, please stop when I have no opportunity to just relax. <laughs> Which I've only experienced when I am out and about and not when I'm home. So, that's great. But, every change lets me know that these hormones are working and they're working to a great degree. For what I've noticed, um, I wouldn't change how I'm experiencing the hormone so far. I would not want to speed it up or slow it down. I feel, for me, they're going at a perfect rate and not um, experiencing too much at once. Um, but yeah, hopefully this has helped. Um, and yeah. Um, so that has been month three. I hope this helps you, helps someone that you are close to, or just gives you knowledge on male to female if you are planning to start. Now, as I said before, these changes are for me specifically. Anything can happen for anyone at certain points of time. These are just things that could happen per month. They may not happen this month. They may have already happened last month. They may happen a few months ahead. And everybody is different and experiences things at different rates. So this is just my, phys my personal experience. So if you don't have these things happening yet, don't freak out. Or if you are ahead and experience new things, don't freak out either. As long as you are comfortable with what you are experiencing when you are experiencing them is what matters. But as always, if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, even though Twitter might be going away very, very soon. But also follow me on Twitch, where I have been live streaming a lot of Hollow Knight content. The full videos will be coming to YouTube very soon, um, but if you want to catch and interact with me on there, catch me there on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, um, and yeah. As always, stay frozen, my frozen ninjas. I'll see you next time. Bye.